Welcome to our video on the fascinating topic of superstitions and numerology in different cultures around the world. It's no secret that humans have always been fascinated by the mysteries of numbers, and this fascination has given rise to many different beliefs and practices related to numerology. Whether it's lucky numbers, unlucky numbers, or the use of numbers in predicting the future, every culture has its own unique superstitions related to numerology. In this video, we'll explore some of the most interesting and unusual superstitions related to numbers and discover how they have shaped the cultures and traditions of people around the world. So get ready to take a journey into the world of superstitions and numerology and prepare to be amazed by what you learn. Did you know that in Chinese culture, the number four is considered the most unlucky number? This is because the word for four sounds very similar to the word for death. As a result, you may find that many buildings in China, as well as in other countries with a significant Chinese population, such as Singapore and Malaysia, don't have a fourth floor, or any floor with the number four in it. The same applies to house numbers, room numbers, and even road numbers. But that's not all. The Chinese also believe that the combination of numbers 4 and 9, such as 49 or 94, is unlucky. This is because the number 9 sounds very similar to the word for torture or suffering. So, if you happen to be in China or other countries with similar beliefs, be mindful of these superstitions and try to avoid using the number 4 or its combinations if possible. In Japan, the number 43 is avoided as it sounds very similar to the word for stillbirth or miscarriage in Japanese. The pronunciation of 43 in Japanese is shaisa, which is associated with negative meanings. Due to this association, many buildings in Japan do not have a 43rd floor, and the number 43 is often avoided in phone numbers and license plates. In addition, some Japanese people will also avoid giving or getting gifts in 43s, and businesses may avoid using 43 in prices or promotions. Hospitals in Japan also avoid room numbers 43, as well as the number 24, which resonates with a similar meaning to 43 and is also considered dangerous. These superstitions are rooted in traditional Japanese culture and beliefs. If you happen to be in Japan, it is essential to be mindful of these superstitions and try to avoid using the number 43 or its combinations if possible. The number 17 and 26 are considered unlucky by many Indians because it sums up to number 8, which is believed to be controlled by Saturn. In Indian culture, the combination of numbers 1 and 7 is considered dangerous. It is believed that people who are born on the 17th of any month may struggle in various aspects of their life. The number 26 is also feared in Indian culture. In numerology, even numbers 2 Moon and 6 Venus are believed to be enemies, and this has brought about many disasters in India. For example, the Gujarat earthquake occurred on the 26th of January 2001, the tsunami on the 26th of December 2004, and the terrorist attack on the Mumbai Taj Hotel on the 26th of November 2008. According to Indian astrology, Saturn gives favorable results only after immense hardships. This means that people born on dates such as 8th, 17th and 26th may experience delays in issues such as marriage, job, childbirth and other significant life events. For many Afghans, 39 is considered an inauspicious number and they go out of their way to avoid it. During the Soviet-Afghan war, the number 39 was associated with a unit that was particularly feared by the Afghan population. 
After the war, the number 39 became associated with violence and death. Since then, the number has been widely considered unlucky in Afghanistan and is often avoided in phone numbers and license plates. Some Afghans may also avoid giving or receiving gifts in multiples of 39, and businesses may avoid using 39 in their prices or promotions. Additionally, the number 39 has a negative connotation in traditional Afghani language, where it translates to Mordegau, meaning dead cow. This only strengthens the belief in the inauspiciousness of the number. Due to its association with past incidents, the number 39 is deeply ingrained in Afghan culture and is part of their traditions and beliefs. It is important to note that these beliefs may not have any scientific evidence, but they still hold a significant place in Afghan society. For many people, 666 is considered an unlucky or even an evil number. In the book of Revelation, the last book of the New Testament in the Bible, the number 666 is referred to as the number of the beast. It is associated with the end times and the reign of the Antichrist. According to the Bible, the Antichrist is a figure who will come to power and deceive many people during the end times. As a result of this association, many people believe that the number 666 is unlucky or evil. Some people even fear the number and go out of their way to avoid it. For example, some hotels avoid using 666 as a room number, and some countries avoid using it on car license plates. The fear of the number 666 is so strong that some people even have a phobia called Hexacosioi hex to hexaphobia, which is the fear of the number 666. Interestingly, the number 666 is also associated with other beliefs and traditions. For example, in Chinese culture, the number 666 is considered lucky, as it sounds similar to the phrase everything goes smoothly. In some forms of numerology, the number 666 is believed to represent balance and harmony. And that's a wrap on our video exploring the fascinating topic of superstitions and numerology in different cultures. We hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the unique beliefs and practices related to numbers and how they have influenced the cultures and traditions of people around the world. Superstitions may seem strange or even irrational, but they are an important part of human history and can offer insights into the way we think and perceive the world around us. So the next time you encounter a superstition related to numerology, whether it's a lucky number or an unlucky one, take a moment to appreciate the rich cultural and historical context behind it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on fascinating topics like this.